I don't know what they wanted me to do, but whatever it was, they thought that me playing country music was uh, a real disaster. So uh, they thought they wouldn't sell any records or nothing would happen. And so I guess out of caring for my career or something, I mean, they, uh, they decided that uh, I shouldn't do that, so they sued me to stop me from doing it. And they sued me for making records that were uncharacteristic. But you've always done country tunes. That's and what what's I, more, what's more, your hits, especially in the UK, have strangely enough only been with country tunes. Well, um, that's what I tried to tell them, but they didn't understand that. I think they thought that uh, just the word country scared them. You know, are you becoming more conservative? Conservative is a that's quite a word. But look with a small C. Well, you do say you're set in your ways on one of the songs. Yeah, or in old ways, right? I've always been like this. <laughs> I'm set in my ways since the very beginning. I've been doing what I'm doing. There really has been no change in what I've done since I started. It's been consistently, uh, you know, just my music. And many people would disagree with that. They'd say that you, you were, in fact, probably one of the more erratic performers that we've seen in the, the last 20 years. And but I've been consistent about that. Consistently erratic. You're right. So I, that's just, you know, you can call me erratic, but I've been the same for 20 years. Do you now look upon your earlier stuff as somewhat naive and impulsive? Oh, well, you know, I think so. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. I liked myself when I was naive and impulsive. I think that was a really good way to be. Now, you know, I'm, I'm not as idealistic as I was, but I still have the same... I still feel the same way about all the basic things. You're well remembered for a tune called Ohio, where you made an attack on Richard Nixon. What, what are the differences, you think, between Nixon and Reagan? Well, I don't think Reagan's killed any students. You can name any president, and they've all killed people. For Neil Young, is President Reagan a credible figure? In some ways, I, I believe in what he's doing for America. In some ways, I disagree with him. What do you think the good things are? The good things are there's a lot more pride in this country today. And, it, and, it, and there's a feeling that, that we've been able to accomplish some things and that we should be proud of the things we have accomplished rather than we're always in the spotlight whatever we do it's a fine line judged. between that and jingoism though isn't it i don't know what jingoism means patriotism explain that nationalism. Patriotism. There's, there's no you know i don't see a line there i i i think it's all the same i feel patriotic i'm proud to be here i'm proud of some of the good things that this country's done i'm not ashamed of the united states I know in Europe that the United States is not popular. I know in a lot of parts of the world that the U.S. is not popular. But that's not what we should, we shouldn't just uh, be hanging our heads in shame over our failings and giving up. As yet unrecorded, Nothing Is Perfect was one of the tunes Neil Young performed at Live Aid, the concert where he was reunited with his old henchmen Crosby, Stills and Nash, although it was only temporary reconciliation. You know, get on with them. No, I love them all. I won't work with them. What about Crosby? Crosby's, Crosby's the lifeblood of the group. He's the, he's the center of the whole band. And, and Crosby's not there right now. When Crosby comes back, I'll be back. Drugs, you mean? Yeah. Was there a definite point in the 70s at which you realized that many of your contemporaries had lost touch and become too self-satisfied and smug about their own positions? Well, I realized that about myself, but I didn't make any judgments on the rest of them. You did? When was, when was that? I think somewhere around the end of the 70s. I know that uh, it goes up and down all the time. You know, some groups go up and they go down and, and then pretty, and they go, what happened? And they start, you know, doing drugs or getting all screwed up or break up or, you know, go home or whatever happens, but they don't last. I, mean, I, mean, I just keep on going, whether it's bottoming out or, or riding on top. It doesn't make any difference to me. And of new groups, have you ever read the likes of Green on Red? No, I haven't. Do you know Yeah. That's what you're making it. Sounds like Crazy Horse. <laughs> <laughs> 